Hal Roach's Our Gang comedies, better known today as The Little Rascals, spanned an incredible 23-year period in movie theaters from 1922 through 1944. Then they turned up on TV to win a whole new generation of fans. The films you're about to see in this collection span three different phases of The Rascals' colorful history. We begin with Bouncing Babies, one of the Our Gang's first talkies, as they called sound movies back then. The year was 1929, and the cast included several holdovers from the last of the silent movie rascals, including beautiful blonde Jean Darling, mischievous Harry Spear, the original fat boy Joe Cobb, and his hand-picked replacement Norman Chubby Cheney, along with the gang's long-distance runner Alan Hoskins, better known as Farina. He started as a toddler in the series back in 1922 and stayed for nine years. Newcomers included the very talented Jackie Cooper, Mary Ann Jackson, and Weezer Hutchins, who is the real star of this episode. We move on to two of the best shorts of the early 30s and two of my personal favorites, Pups is Pups and Dogs is Dogs. One of the stars of Pups is Pups is never seen. He's composer Leroy Shield, who provided the wonderful music score highlighted in this and many of the other Hal Roach shorts. Most producers of comedy films during this period didn't bother spending money for original music, but Hal Roach did, and what a difference it makes. Shield and his colleague Marvin Hatley created jaunty, wonderful, and unforgettable melodies. Another distinguishing feature of these early 30s shorts is the way they reflect the time in which they were made, the very depths of America's Great Depression. Most Hollywood movies of this period offered their audience escape to a make-believe world, but the rascals drew their comedy out of real life. Look at the way these poor kids live, the harshness of their existence. Still, they managed to keep their upbeat outlook and sense of fun. Our final short, Glove Taps, moves forward to 1936 and features yet another cast of rascals, some of the best known and best loved kids of all. Spanky, Alfalfa, Buckwheat, Porky and Darla. This film heralds the return of Tommy Bond, who'd appeared in a handful of Rascals films in the early 30s, but now took on the role of Bully. Glove Taps marks the debut of his new and indelible character, Butch, once seen, never forgotten. It was also the first film in which Darwood Kay appeared. He soon found his niche in the gang as Waldo. Look at the little baby, look at the little baby. All kind of fell ever meant to himself. Mama, Weezy's in the baby's crib again. Young man, haven't I told you to stay out of this crib? Ah, oh, this is my crib before that old baby moved in. Now, young man, you get your clothes on right away quick. Ah, oh, why don't you dress for me? Let that all he wears is a bandana. You're going to be a big boy now. You can dress yourself. Oh, I wish someone would take that old little baby away from here. Why, Weezer, how can you talk so? Oh, before he come, I used to get a little attention. Now, nobody loves me. Well, after the angels brought you, nobody loved me either. Huh. I don't see how they could. Well, what are you always give me the raspberries for? Petey, come on and help me take my knife off.
we'll give him a little piggyback. Oh, here we go now. Wait. Petey, I think that new baby's the ball. All he can say is goo goo and blah blah. Oh, that sweet little dollar. Better take him off now, Mama, huh? Oh, that's my baby, blessed. Whose little snookins are you, huh? Isn't that pretty, darling? Huh? Don't you love that baby, Mary? Oh, I can love that little... Daddy! Why, watch me do some new tricks? Watch me. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's what he is. He's an old darling. Yes, he is. Bite his darling, huh? Look at your daddy, honey. Look at that apple, don't you? <laughs> hmm? Come on, darling, and look at Daddy. Oh, I found the car radio. All right, honey. Yes, come on. Daddy, you really are funny, and I'll laugh like I used to. Oh, not now. Daddy has to run along to work. Oh, all right, darling. Watch your style. Mommy, would you get me some breakfast? Weezer, I called you four times this morning, and you wouldn't get up. Now go get your own breakfast. Oh, honey, isn't that just a little bit too severe? Well, that'll teach him a good lesson. Oh, I know, but darling, my heavens, he has to eat, you know. Well, he's going up to be a big boy. Ah, yeah. Come on, kid. We'll get our own breath. Come on, kid. Hmm, that good.
doing? I'm getting my own breakfast. Oh, I'll get your breakfast. I'm going to give you a good spanking.
Weezer, what can we do for you? I'm bringing that old, this old baby back. I want to him for a goat. Well, what's the matter with him? Oh, he cries and gives me the raspberries and everything. Well, Weezer, we'll have to telephone up to heaven to see if this can be arranged. You wait just a moment. Get me Mrs. Dean, quick. Hello, Mrs. Dean. Uh, this is the hospital speaking. Uh, your little son, Weezer, is here, and he has a doll. He thinks it's a baby, and he wants to trade it for a goat. You keep the doll and send Weezer right home. I'll fix him. I tell you, we'll pretend to cry. Let's say you pretend to cry. <laughs> and I'll go. <laughs> we'll fix him all right. That will be... Him all right. Here he comes now. Don't forget to cry hard. No. Mary, he'll never steal a baby again, will he? No. I'll be good. I'll be awful. 
Oh, good. Ow! Mommy, he's back, all right. Hey, Sonny, what's the idea of the bell? Every time my puppy 
Ring carol bell rang the same second and kept trying to eat.
Just a minute, where are you fellas going? Well, we want to put our pets in the show. We want a big prize, too. You want to smell my pet? He's all perfume. Yeah, look at my pig, mister. I washed him, too. You can't go in here without my nagri. Now keep your head in that position. See me tomorrow morning at the same time. All right, doctor. Remember, keep your head up. You get that uniform off. You're fired. 
Uh oh. There goes my toys, bus. Get out of here. Yes. Officers! Officers! Officer! 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 Officer. Officer. Let's throw these children out of here. Throw them out. All right, we'll get them. Mama. 
Ma. You just pretend. Did you have that dog in here again? The window was open and... and... Uh, you get for bringing that dog in the house. You let German dog leave with him. Huh. Well, Sherbet's dog is a pedigreed animal. And that mutt of yours is nothing but an alley dog. The next time you bring him in here, I'll send him to the pound. Yeah, just because I'm only your stepbrother, she let you do as you please. Well, why shouldn't she? She's my real mother. You haven't got any real mother. Hmm. I think I'll pop you in a chair. If you touch me, I'll scream for mother. <laughs> Mama! There, dear, did he hurt you, darling? Did he hurt you, dear? Oh, but then, never mind. <laughs> Don't come home pretty soon. I'm going to send you away. Come on, darling. Come on, Beanie, I wonder what our daddy is going to get out. It's been gone so long. <laughs> Sherwood. And don't let him get dirty. Now get up and get your clothes on. Hurry up about it. Auntie, why how you feeling this morning? I guess my pep's in jail again. He didn't show up last night. Where's Weezer? I wonder if he's ate yet. I hope that old fella can give him something besides mush. I'm sure fed up on Mush. I wonder if that old hatchet face had ever heard of ham or bacon or pork chops or pie or watermelon or uh, 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 liver or uh, uh, steak, soup, no mush though. Or oh, sure would be a sport. You don't want that ham to give it to us. Nothing doing. Nero likes it. Don't you, Nero?
just going to stare at me and smile. Why them ham and eggs show smell good? What, mush again? Yep. No, you was the mushiest people I ever did see. You know, I kind of lost my taste for mush. Haven't you got a little dab to spare? Why, sure, take mine. I thought you said you lost your taste for mush. I did. My stomach is hollering for something to eat. It might as well be mush. Hey, Spud, did you ever know that ham and eggs can talk? Ah, oh, who ever heard of such a thing? Well, I hear them talking this morning. What'd they say? Well, the ham said to the egg, why are you scrounging me? And then what the egg say? Ham, I ain't crowding nobody. I'm just slipping around here in this here grease. I don't believe it. Yeah, you are them wise guys, ain't you? You believe it, don't you, Rita? Sure I do. You believe it, Dorothy? Just to prove it that the ham and eggs can't talk, I'll show you. Why don't they say something? Why well, you gotta kinda mess them up in a frying pan? And then they'll talk and hide. Yep, we need a rope. 
What's all this shooting about? Here, what's the trouble here? That dog's been killing my chickens, and I'm going to shoot him. No, you're not. Well, he has no license. Put him in the dog pond where he belongs.
Well, I'll give you the two dollars. Oh, will you? Certainly. Boy, you're swell. <laughs> now, that's fine. Oh, that's lovely. Are you really our real Andy? Yes, dear, I'm your father's sister. Why didn't our daddy come after us? Well, honey, your daddy has been very, very sick. Oh, Dorothy, look at Petey. See, that's a swell car you got, Petey. Yes? Well, come on, let's be going. I'm all fed up on taking care of those kids. Well, you won't be troubled any longer. See what the kids look like. Yeah. Spike, 
Mickey, can I rest a while? No, sir. It says in the book that we've got to check your weight. Now sit down on the scale. Oh. Hello, boy, champ. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, you're down to fighting weight. You've lost six pounds. Come on, wake up. We've got a whole lot of training to do. And I was having such a beautiful dream. Say, what's the idea? I packed a night of dowry. That's not a curry who? Him. Say, that looks like me. Something tells me we better call off the whole fight. Nothing doing. We ain't through training yet. Hey, Buckwheat, get on your fighting clothes. Okay, Banky. What are you going to do now? Give me a rub down. Oh, there's no rest for the fairy. Do we have to do this? Mm-hmm. The book says so. Roll over. Now what? I'm going to loosen up her joints. Don't make them too loose. Oh, okay, champ, on your feet. We got some shadow boxing to do yet. Follow me. Don't you think this has gone far enough? Stop grumbling. I'm doing all this for you. Go ahead and fight. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting for him to start it. Quit clowning. that a fighter has to have confidence. Have you got any? I don't think so. Well, after you lick buckwheat, you'll have plenty. Confidence. Hey, buckwheat, where are you? Yeah, yes. Ready for the sparring? That's Banky. That's great, come on. What is that for? Confidence? Take that off. Shake in, boys. Porky, ring the bell. What you want me to do now? Sit down on the floor. I'll take care of the rest. Come on, pal. What happened? What happened? Look! Did I do that? You sure did. Boy, what a wallop you've got. Where's that butch? Bring him on. I'll knock his back off. Yeah. You know, I think I came 
along in a first round, and then I'm knocking Goofy in the sack. Yeah, Butch. Thanks, Butch. 